Hello, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Oh, yeah. Great to be here. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, we have another episode of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend for you guys. Yeah. Oh, man, are things spiraling. <laughs> Stuff's getting real. <laughs> Stuff's getting real real fast. Um Josh proposed to Rebecca. Yeah, it looked like Rebecca obviously was about to have a breakthrough and like take some ownership of the fact that she needs to work on herself and that a relationship isn't the answer. And Josh, which I, th- I thought was great how it was staged, yeah. doesn't just propose to her. He breaks into the middle of the therapy session where she's about to have a breakthrough. <laughs> and I've got the, what was it, the Garfunkel ring or whatever? Garfinkel. Garfinkel. Has the Garfinkel ring and proposes to Rebecca with a therapist just realizing that, well... This is not going to work yeah, now. Yeah, Dr. Kofi being like, Rebecca, focus up. No, no. Right. Which is which is nice because she's like the state and audience there. Yeah. It's like we're all saying the same thing. Like, no, this is <clears throat> not it. And to have her sitting there say, let it, letting the audience know, like, <clears throat> we're not done. <laughs> we, no, we, yeah. we, 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 are, we are not into healthy territory. Season two, guys. <laughs> yeah, we still have a couple to go. I'm looking forward to healthy Rebecca. I am too. We'll see if that, that actually ever happens. Um, a lot of you guys on Patreon said that um, – uh, it's it's not a, a really good portrayal of therapy. It uh, probably isn't because she's been fairly detached for a lot of it. Just because Rebecca's such a frustrating uh, client, she is. and the show's not really known for its uh, realism. Sure, so it's it's a good satire, and we understand therapists don't do that. They shouldn't act that way. And I don't think Doctor Copian's a bad therapist. And that's not what they're trying to say. I think it was just a stand up for the audience. Yeah, it was, and and I, and I do think it's all, it also she's there to kind of how I, you know, we have to have the therapist there to know that Rebecca. You, to, 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 in order for therapy to work, you have to be ready yeah. to work with a therapist. It cannot yes. be just a one way street. And Rebecca, that that whole that whole end of that, that episode showed us Rebecca is not ready to um, own her own her yeah. um, own her own problems and, and work on them. And, and and I don't care how good a therapist you are, you can't fix somebody that is saying I don't need you to fix. I don't need any help. One hundred percent. You know, and, and, and her, you have to have healthy healthy people on the show to kind of juxtapose. Her, her actions, you know what I mean? Right. Like you have to have healthy people there to be like, this is not how you're supposed to be. You're right. Not- that, I mean, that's I mean, that's what White Josh has been the yes. whole show. Father Bra. Father Bra has been that for Josh, and, and of course they don't listen to him, and that's kind no, of the exactly. point. That's like the point. Yeah, the, yeah. the the idea is, you know, we do have people who are there as like the audience saying. What are you doing and why are you not doing X, Y, Z to actually become a healthier person? Yeah. And we have those characters saying, everything you're doing as far as you becoming a, a more self-possessed, well-rounded, healthy person is wrong. <laughs> you are not doing any of what you need to do. Uh, not at all. And yeah, and that's what makes the show so fun is they are, they are we, we, throughout, especially this, even more so this season than last, these guys are getting good advice. From the people around them. Sound advice. They're getting honestly. very sound advice. Yeah. And they're ignor- even Paula has become like a voice of reason on the show as she wasn't in the first season. I feel really it's just not working. Paula this season. Like Paula's really going through it. Paula's really gone through it. Dealing with some infidelity. Her friend sucks. Um, I guess they did make up a little bit there. But still, she lost her kid in a club. Which, right. I mean... It's not the craziest thing that's happened to Paula's kids. Let's face it. Yeah, but it was nice to. It was it was Rebecca, even though she sucked and blew it and yeah. got and, and you know made it all about her again. Um, for a while, she didn't. She yeah. was actually at least at points in that episode trying to really be there for Paula. Yeah. and put herself second, which is something that every person should do for their friends. And Rebecca has never done it before. No. It it didn't go well. She still reverted and you know <laughs> dragged the kid to a club because it's all about her. Yeah. Um, but the, ultimately, the way the episode ended, she she. She chose Paula over Josh yeah, exactly. for a very brief minute. <laughs> it's uh, all fleeting. It's all fleeting. Because, like, at the end of the last one, you know, as Josh is proposing and the psychiatrist is saying, hey, no, this is not what you need. We just, we were just here. Yeah. 30 seconds ago, you knew this wasn't what we needed. Shh, shh, shh. This is the most romantic thing ever. Shut up. It's like, oh, here we go. We're yeah. back to, we're back to this, this, like, this constructed idea of what love is in her head. Nice gesture on Josh's part to get the Garfinkel ring, but uh, it's all about context. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and if you know, we've 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 definitely had our hints that Josh is not is is no healthier than Rebecca in terms, no. of, in terms of his need mess. his he's need to mess. be in a relationship to have, to have any type of of, of self definition. Um, so he's just, he's just as big of a mess as her. Yep. And boy, did that show it last time. And, and, and I I would lay I don't know about you. We haven't talked about this about a zero point zero percent chance that they ever get married. <laughs> Oh man, it'd be amazing if they did. And, like, they get divorced. divorced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be incredible. That'd be the thing, though. It's like, how long is, it, is this yeah, marriage going to last? Crazy ex wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We do want to welcome just two new Patreon subscribers, guys. So, so, Jarn VR and Alrod. 
I'm sorry, guys, if those were terribly wrong, but thank you and welcome. We really appreciate what it. What matters is that you're here. What matters <laughs> is that you're here. Um, we could not continue to do this channel, um, especially the amount of content we're doing, if it wasn't for the support of people like you. So we really, really do appreciate it. Absolutely. You guys are incredible. Uh, for those of you guys check us out on YouTube, welcome to our channel. Hello. We are in the middle of growing and expanding, so please, please browse our video selection. Yeah, we're uh, adding new stuff. All the time. We just did a movie. Uh, while you guys are here... Uh, Hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment down below. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button for yes, us so you stay up to date with all of our new content. Very, very helpful. Um, if you'd like to check out the full reaction to Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and, and everything else that we've done, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. Oh, yeah. We have uh, every show we've done or are doing, every movie. And uh, we're doing uh, Succession right now. Yes. It's a Patreon exclusive. We are just today going to begin Season 3. Yeah. So moving right along through a very good show, Succession. By the time you guys are seeing this, we're four weeks ahead on Patreon, so... Yeah, we can get ahead with us. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, we, we should do. be about halfway through season three. So yeah, sounds yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah, that's what we should for sure. All right, uh, shameless self promotion finished. I'm talking about something important over here. Okay, just focus. <laughs> oh my ring! Oh my god! <laughs> see, this is it, right? It's all about the ceremony and not about the, oh, what getting married actually yeah. means. family heirloom. Oh. Uh, Hey, what do you think that did the odds on her getting married? What are the odds that she, at some point in the show, has sex with Nathaniel? I'd say about a hundred percent. Hundred percent, yeah. I think that. I think they will. At least, I, the, 90, I think, at I least the ninety percent, right? Yeah, it's, gotta, it's gonna be high. <laughs> Making a permanent commitment to someone is not to be taken lightly. Yeah. Oh, so this Thank is you. our thing now. You just say insulting things in a calm voice. I'm yes. supposed to take it. Awesome. I'm glad she speaks. That wasn't fair. insulting. Guys, I know it seems like the proposal came very quickly, but we haven't even set a date yet. Good for you. Condolences on the engagement. Shackled to one person for eternity. So boring. So every time Josh touches you, it's like total conspiracy, right? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. not. Oh See, she God. got him, and now it's like, okay. Yeah. What's going on with you guys? You know, I mean, we're barely talking, and we just exchange the children like political prisoners at a militarized board. <laughs> <laughs> they can still work it out. Then? No. He cheated on me. He cheated. Yes, he did. I, you know, I have my pride. <gasps> Whatever you decide... Whatever happens, it'll work out great because you're smart and amazing. Uh, oh, <coughs> that's true though. Yeah, I mean, infidelity does happen in marriages, and it's all—it's all. It's all it depends it's on. To, the it's up to the person. It's up to the person. Nobody condones it, but right, you can move past anything. Some people can, some people can't. I respect both. Yeah, I'm really grateful to you for inspiring me to volunteer at the church. You know, you got way more out of that Scarsdale bar mitzvah than I did. Like this. Gorgeous wedding venue. See, it's all about the ceremony, amazing. not about the marriage. Hey, folks, get to 35 miles per hour. So, what? be careful out there. I wonder how the Ugh, wind is going to play this. into this. We should totally have our wedding there. Oh my god. It's the F oh, and okay, Catalina wine the mixer. Wedding calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Well, we both love it. Why can't you be engaged for two years? Right? We've been right? dating for a week. We're going to be married forever. Exactly. Yeah, dating somebody for two years before you marry them isn't the worst idea in the no, world. It's not. <laughs> Time is a good thing. What? Nothing. I'm in a weird mood today. Um, it's because you want to bang your boss. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Because now that you have Josh, you don't oh, want him. Sorry. Oh my god. I mean, look at that. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good foreshadowing. Oh my Whoa! god. Wow, those are beauts. Good for her. Show's ah, over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Nathaniel saw. Oh. Nathaniel saw. Oh. oh. I wonder who this guy is, because he's great. Oh. Well, he's having a sex dream about Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, so I'm in a funeral home and I walk up to a casket, and in the casket was Daryl. Um, those devil winds. I'm here to stop <laughs> talking about dumb stuff. <laughs> we just discussing the devil winds. You did have a dream. I see it. Your eyes have been touched by the. Winds of Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> they might be as early as this episode. I thought we were thinking of down the road after her and Josh I broke mean, up. They kind of already did in a dream. Okay, so I had a graphic dream about Nathaniel last night, and now he's getting goosebumps. Seriously? Yeah. It's all up and down, my lady limbs. I have to <laughs> wait for him to whip his yuck out. 
Okay, I can do that. Wow. I mean, I bet, I bet he has a big yuck, like a massive yuck. I wonder if I could even take that yuck. Oh, wow. Whatever you do, do not get stuck in a small space with Nathaniel. Wait, why would I do that? I mean, you know, you wouldn't mean to. Okay, good-looking people who hate each other but secretly have the hots for each other, I mean, they are always getting stuck in snowy cabins and bank vault. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's all alone. You gotta get on the elevator together, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Man. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. You know, it's funny that you picked this place. It's right near Scott's new apartment. That's stupid. Why don't you just give him a call and tell him how you feel? See, everyone's getting good advice. I want to. Pride is a stupid reason to do something, yeah. Oh, that is just silly. Can you cuddle Pride? Can you take Pride to the movies? Can Pride pick a little piece of <laughs> croissant out of your mustache? You were talking to Mrs. Hernandez, and I was nearby. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe. Yeah, you don't have to rush it. I hope you both enjoy one-on-one -on -one time in close quarters. Because <laughs> you're about to get a lot of it. I know what we should do. Okay. We should have sex. What? I know, I'm shocked too. He yeah. finally gets a song! You get a John Mayer song here from him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She is quite a lovely woman, for she sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just super quickly have intercourse. That was the least romantic thing ever. Yep, there it is. There it is. What in the world would make you think that I would want to have hot, naked, sweaty elevator sex with you? I mean, I remind you, I'm engaged. Stop saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I am outraged. I'm doing the old timey voice, and I am still attracted. It is so confusing. Oh, did Daryl? Could Daryl call him? What are you doing here? Daryl was hoping we could talk face to face. Yeah. He wanted us to talk, and so do I. Honestly, Paula, this is kind of sweet of Daryl. You are the center of my whole universe. Please give me another chance. This is not some secret trick. I'm with Paula on this, actually. You're my best yeah. friend. Oh, you stop saying that. But I get it. He, was he did, he did overstep. He overstepped a lot. Oh, big time. She's allowed to do whatever she wants to get through she this. Is. It was a nice gesture. Yeah. It was, it was, his heart was in the right place, but that he way overstepped. Timing was off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're bored in your relationship, but that's not my fault. I mean, he's and right there, too. They're both right. Yep. I am completely and totally free. What's so magical about first kisses? Well, you can't be with Cedric if you're already with Ron. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, the elevator's back on. Great. <clears throat> oh! Okay, I did not see that coming. Hey, 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 oh, no. Josh. Hey, wake up. Wake up. I gotta talk to you. It's oh, really important. Oh, yeah. Well, well, what's up? Everything okay? I have the most amazing news. Okay. Oh, wow. What? Your dream is coming true. I called you <laughs> to the wedding venue, and a spot opened up. Yeah, of course. Hello, is this Ashley Jones? Yes, are you getting married at the Malibu Cliffs Villa and Spa in two weeks? It's in two weeks. Ah, the wedding is in two weeks. That's I nuts. I just want to celebrate that. You haven't known him for 11 rush. years. For 10 years, you didn't see him. Though, because I thought about it, and was it a rush for you to propose? I'll handle it all. All you have to do is show up and make me the happiest girl in the world. Okay? All right. Yeah. Two weeks? Yeah, thank you, yeah. Because of the venue, you know, we got off the waiting list. And two weeks is actually, it's not, it's not as short as you think. It's and short! Tell me that chili thing that you like, and I... Miss Aww. you and I love you and I want you to move back in. Oh. Look, we all make mistakes. You said that. You need to earn back my trust, and I don't know how long that's gonna take. That's and true too. I totally understand. I'm ready to do the work. They're handling this really well, both of them. Missed you. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. I've missed you too. Right. <laughs> Scott and I are going to try and work things out. Definitely overstepped. Yes, he yeah. did. A little bit. I know you meant well. Of course I did, because I care. You're my best friend. I oh, he has ukulele ready Daryl's to go. Cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wrote her a song. You're my best male friend. I would take that. That's cool. That rando kiss between us. But it wasn't between you. She did it. Yeah. Whatever you say. I do say, because I just, I said it. Don't worry, Nathaniel, there's no way it's happening. Oh, 
Hi, George. It's George. What? Wow. <laughs> what was that? That was a reprise of Rebecca's oh. uh, Love Triangle song. Oh, my God. That was a that was a really, oh. really good episode. I, I really liked that. It was very sincere. Very sincere, very touching. Um, uh, Nathaniel, he's less terrible, but he's still so terrible. Oh, no. Nathaniel's terrible. We can, I yeah. mean, he did way across the line of sexual harassment in the elevator. Like, way across it. sexually assaulted her. But, or not assaulted her. Harassed, 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 harassed her. her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, she sexually assaulted him, but he sexually harassed her. It's just not okay. No. Especially today. I mean, this, this was still a very recent show, but you can't. That, that's not flying. It was, it was a boss saying, we're stuck in the elevator together, let's have sex so I can get on with my day. His song was incredible, though. It was an incredible song, but he was way out not of line. Not okay. Yeah. yeah, not okay um, at all. But um, he also does understand Rebecca better than Rebecca understands Rebecca. Yeah. That, yeah, in a weird way, they're the same person. He's, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just less, I hate to use this word, crazy. Well, he's less apologetic about being awful. Less apologetic. Rebecca seems to have a conscience. conscience. Um, she told well, she didn't tell Josh right away, but she feels, feels bad about it, and I think Josh will find out eventually. Oh, of she'll, course. She'll tell him eventually, probably. Right. Uh, um, yeah, I feel like Rebecca is just as awful as Nathaniel, but she's in denial about it. So if they're getting married in two weeks... What are the odds the wedding happens? Zero percent. You don't think, you don't think they're actually going to? It is such. A, I don't think Josh wants to. I think it was a knee jerk reaction to her kissing another guy. I know what will fix it. It's like again we mentioned before. It's like people in a bad marriage decide to have a baby to fix it. It doesn't work. Just upping the stakes of the commitment yeah. doesn't actually make the commitment better. Band aid on a bullet hole. Yeah, it, re it really is. So no, I, I think it's going to fall apart. It may get all the way up to the wedding. I don't know. You know. Is there a chance that he that Nathaniel breaks up the wedding? No. You don't, think he, you don't think he cares that much? I think Rebecca breaks up the wedding. I think Rebecca realizes, oh, wait, this is this is insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I would guess, yeah. but I bet we almost get to the aisle before that happens. I think we're gonna. I think this is gonna be a big lead up to it. Yeah, I do too. I think I think there's gonna be the venue and there's gonna be the wedding and it's gonna be like last second hold up. This is episode eleven. Right. There's still twenty two episodes, so we're only halfway. eighteen. I think eighteen. Sorry, yeah. twenty two. Uh, a little over halfway. So. Yeah, I think they're going to get married either if it's not the next episode. Not get married. You think they get married? I think the wedding is going to be a thing. I think, right, Like right. you said, she's going to run away. So yeah. if, to the wedding, I think it's okay, to the, the wedding. Episode, yeah, right. The, what, uh, yeah, I don't. I do not think they're getting get married, though. No, zero percent chance. Right. The show's called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Right. So, but I think uh, leading up to it, sure, something's going to happen. Yeah. Something else is going to happen because... Oh, no. We're going to get... It's a two weeks, which means we're yeah. probably going to get two episodes of pure, chaotic, downward spiral, is what I would guess. That things are just going to get worse and worse and worse right up until the moment that she stops. She pumps the brakes. Isn't it funny that, like, when Paula's relationship is seemingly fixed, Rebecca's is just in the toilet? Uh, yeah, except Rebecca's putting on the show that hers is better than ever, which is, is always a, a tragedy to watch someone do. We've all been there. We've all had friends that have done it and seen friends that have like, no, no, he cheated on me, but now we're going to renew our vows. Oh, well, that just fixed it. You right, know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't yeah. know. It, it, I'm done trying to predict this show just because. Well, yeah, I, oh, we've been wrong so many times on what, what's happening on this show. Who we, knows? Yeah, we didn't even know when Greg left that Greg was gone. They could get married. <laughs> they could get divorced. They could not get married. Yeah. Uh, they could be, end up together in the end. Who, they could get adults. Who freaking knows. Yeah, man. right. They, they could get married, take a honeymoon, and come back and get an adult, <laughs> which would actually be kind of fun. That'd be amazing, it actually, would. right? Yeah. The but, season ends with them getting divorced. <laughs> yeah. But I, I would I would guess that they're not actually going to get married. If I were to put money on it, I would say the chances are very low that they go through. I mean, they're, they're both completely broken and flawed codependent people, but I don't know that that, that this show takes that kind of dark turn into divorce land. Maybe it does. It handles dark themes very well. Yeah, of course. It makes them super light. I mean, the whole I'm the wind thing. Right, right. She's talking to the wind. Right, yeah, exactly. That's pretty dark. <laughs> That's pretty well, dark. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the wind thing was just... Uh, basically crap like it's not me it's this other random thing i get to blame the wind for my bad behavior yeah and not take any like she always does not take any responsibility for herself she puts it on everybody else everybody else. anything else even not right. even a person yeah all right thanks guys we'll catch you in the next one see ya.